Over the end of his will. Amen. Praise the Lord. God has really been good to us. Yes, yes. We've had good services this weekend, and I'm looking forward to Brother Theron bringing us the word tonight. Amen. Amen. I wish we had a house full here, Brother Theron, yes. but. Um, we can want that to happen. One of these days it will. Amen. I, I believe that one of these days we're going to see this place fill up. Amen. Because I believe the glory of God is in this place. Yes. yes. Praise the Lord. Come on, Brother Theron. Praise. Yes, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask you if you would bow your head up as we commend the rest of the service over to the hands of the Lord. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I confess before you, Lord, there is no other God, Lord. You are my Savior. You are the one that I go to, Lord. You are our refuge. Yes, Lord. Lord, you are our healer, yes. our deliverer, God. You are our comfort and our peace. Lord, we ask you here tonight, God, to meet every need under the sound of my voice, God. Each one, God, that you know their heart, their inner most secret request before you, God, yes. grant them God, your will, God, in our lives. Yes. Move for your people, God. Save us. Give us a healing up in our mind, our spirit, and our soul. Yes, Lord. Lord, help us to touch you with everything that we have in all our heart. We love you here tonight, and we praise you. In the name of Jesus, we love you. Amen and amen. amen. Praise the Lord, saints. I don't know which one to use. Let's use this one. Yes, sir. Thank you, God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Truly, we are glad to be back before God's people. I uh, was just talking to the Lord earlier today and just seeking God for a lot of different things. we got a lot of things going on right now in this, this hour with uh, a lot of people we know are sick and we've had some deaths and we went up to the hospital yesterday after service and visited a, our, my old former secretary and how she uh, she's well up in age but you know she's a servant of the Lord and she wasn't feeling well and they were telling me and she was telling us yesterday how she uh, her sister talked her to going on up to the hospital because she's on, she's on dialysis right now but <laughs> She said her sister talked her to going on up to the hospital because she wasn't feeling well. So they finally went on and took her up there and to the hospital and found out that she had cancer. And they wouldn't let her go home. And her, she still there and she uh, stayed there. And by the time her sister got home and they had called her, the our secretary, the old secretary at, home, at the hospital, they called her and told her her sister had to go home and she died. So it's just been one disaster after another. And, and while this is going on, a uh, former co-worker of ours, they told me he walked in the office and said he couldn't breathe. And he just took his last breath and fell out. And he had a massive heart attack and died right there on the floor. Mm -hmm. So it just, it's so much right now that's it's going on. And I, you know, I see it, things are just happening. A brother at our church, he's right now fighting, called me right before I came over. I was, dealing with some things with that and just kind of pondering my spirit and you know he's already had half the foot removed from uh, gangrene and diabetes they've taken already the foot so he's he'll be back in surgery tomorrow and they're talking about amputating all the way up to the knee now so we just uh, believe in God in so many directions you know how many know we need God more than Amen. this hour Amen. now than ever we really do Amen. you know it's, you know my heart has been full over the last week just uh, dealing with this and we'll be attending a funeral tomorrow and I always wonder and you know you always ponder within yourself were they ready to go be with the Lord that's true. and you know that's what I always have made up my mind and I purposed in my heart when I came and I started this walk with Jesus I said Lord I wanted to go all the way I promised to my soul Lord, when he saved me and gave me the precious gift of the Holy Ghost Come because on. this life that we live right now is all temporal Amen. It's all nothing but a vapor. Amen. It is. It's just a vapor right now. Amen. 
Someday we all are going to have to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Amen. And my whole purpose right now, while I have breath in this, in this mortal body, this flesh and blood, is to bring people all across the world to one salvation, Amen. Amen. one life, Praise God. one bread of life. That's yes. Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know about anybody else, but I need him in my life. I, do. I need him. You know, I'm listening. That's a beautiful song. I was telling my wife back there, beautiful song. I even love the way you sung it. But I do. I want God's will. You know, Amen. even I ask for a lot of things, you know, but I want him to give me what I need. You yeah. know, Amen. just give me what I need. That's all I want is his perfect will Amen. for my life. It is. That touched my, my heart and my soul. I just, I was just back there almost in tears, just, just. Thinking about all this and listening to her sing that song is, you know, God is so true. Mm -hmm. Yes, He's so true. Yeah. And I do. I desire to be saved. I want to see my family saved. You know, mm -hmm. see my kids saved and grandkids and so forth and people saved. And you know, this is what this life is about. And I don't know about anybody else, but this life, truly, we got to run this race like we've never ran it before. Amen. Saints of God, I'm just being honest with you. Now is the time. Now is the time for us all. To make our call and our election sure before him. Amen. We got to get closer to God more than ever. I, I agree with the pastor, you know, the more, the longer we live this life, the longer I'm living, Brother Don. I, Amen. I just want to get close. Yeah. I, Amen. Do. I know I'm sometimes feel like I'm not doing enough for God, but I just want to be closer. You know, I'm not saying I got to go out and preach, but I just want to be closer. Yeah. I want to be a better servant to God. Amen. I want to be a better husband to my wife. I want to be a better father to my kids. Amen. I want to be a better servant to God more than anything. I just want to know that my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Praise and God. we can know here today. We can know. You can know here today. There's choices all through the Bible. There's choices that we all have to make. And whether we believe it or not, some of us are going to have to make those choices sooner than later. Amen. We are. But you got to know that you made the right choice for your life while we are breathing this last, this our breath right now here today. We do. We thank God for being here. And just thank God for who he is. Thank God for my wife, uh, Sister Nicole, again, coming with me. Amen. Thank God for her truly uh, great help and inspiration to it. And she's uh, she's striving sincerely with all her heart. I, I, I'm not just saying it, but she's, you know, the life that she lives is, is truly, you know, the life who she really is. You know, it's no error we don't try to put on or I'm not somebody so big and so great. It's just, you know, who we are, we're just servants of the Lord, no matter where, who, where we go. But we thank God. I don't know if she wants to say anything for the Lord here tonight. Give God his glory if she wants to. I'm not going to ask her to sing or anything. But God bless everyone. I just thank God for, you know, allowing us to come and worship with you all. We just really appreciate the opportunity to come and, you know, worship. All having the same mind and just one purpose. Yeah. So I ask you guys to just pray for us and we'll continue to pray for you all. And I just thank God for this opportunity. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, we're going to go into the Word. And I thank God for your pastor. Amen. Thank God for all of you being here tonight. And, I, you know, the pastor, you know, a lot of times people get caught up in the crowd. I'm not, I thank God we don't get caught up in crowd effects. You know, I always believe, I always ask the Lord, Lord, let those that will be there are the ones that you really want there. Yeah. I'd rather have one or two people in a church that I don't like the spirit, I don't like to fight with, than to have a whole 200 people with binding yeah. spirits and fighting all those minds and spirit. Oh, yeah. So I just thank God for all of you here tonight. I really do. Thank God for Brother Donna. You know, uh, you know, he's he comes in, you know, we've gotten acquainted from employment and and I've seen it and you know I, I'm just gonna truly tell you that honestly his life is truly manifested. You know, and my his my spirit bear witness to it. And I do I thank God for that sincerely. You know, we get a lot of times you get people, you know, when we in church we you know, so almighty and so God, but behind the scenes, you're living another totally different way. But he comes in there and he's confessing the word of God. And, you know, he's lifting up the name of Jesus. And that's what it's really about. You know, we got to be who we are, you know, 24 hours a day. This life is who we are for real. And I do. I thank God for what I see that standard in him. And I do. I thank God for him as well. But if you have your Bible, we're going to the word of God. I don't plan to be before you too long. I, a song was just so beautiful. I really wanted to ask her to sing it again, but <laughs> she did. It was beautiful. To me. I had never heard it, but if you have your Bible, Psalms 23. Maybe my wife will learn it. She'll sing it for us. 
All familiar scriptures. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want him. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow and death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thou rod, thy staff, thy comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm humbled here tonight. I am, God. I'm, spirit is broken, Lord. It's just humbled before you and your people, God. I don't know this presence that I feel, Lord, but it's, it's presence of you, God, here tonight, God. I can feel it. But, Lord, meet every need here tonight, God. Help me to speak only what you have laid on my heart to speak. We love you. In the name of Jesus, you get the glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. amen. Tonight, I'm going to speak on the Lord is my shepherd. Ask your neighbor, is he your shepherd? Turn to your neighbor and ask him, is he your shepherd? The Lord is my shepherd. In this world, right now, that we're living, we're living in. And I just told you everything that, you know, things that are going on, and, you know, we've been faced with. And I'm sure all of you are going through certain situations and different entities in your life right now, whether it be family or friends or finances or a sickness or a spiritual low or whatever it may be. We're all going through something. Been tried. Our faith has been tried and tested right now. But in this spiritual warfare right now, Lord. you have to know, I got to know, yeah. that Jesus, the Lord himself, is the shepherd. Amen. Amen. He is my rock. Come on. He's my refuge. Well, praise God. He's all in all that I need. He's yeah. all that you need. He's my hope for glory. Praise God. He is. He's what I turn to when I feel like I can't go on. When I feel like that the winds have blown me all across the way. When it feels like my prayers have hit the ceiling and bounced back down. When it feels like I'm so lonely and I'm so weak, he is still my shepherd. Amen. I told the Lord, I said, God, I was in getting ready. I was taking that, sh that bath this, this afternoon. Lord, I will dwell in your house forever. Come on. Amen. Most people think we're talking about the, the natural born house. And it is. We're supposed to be in the natural house of God. But the house of the Lord forever is that spiritual entity. That spiritual walk. I need him here. Amen. 24 Amen. hours a day. 7 days a week. Yeah. Even when I'm on a job, I need him as my shepherd. Yeah. I need him to lead me. I need him to guide me. Amen. He is my healer. He's my refuge. He's our way maker. He delivers us from everything. Any sickness, any disease. Amen. He is the shepherd of my life. Amen. We got to know. You have to know. Is he your shepherd? What will separate you from the love of God? You know, I'm finding Christians everywhere. When we're trying, we get tested. Amen. We say, Lord, I promise you, I'm not going to go nowhere. Just like, who was that Peter in the Bible? How he pulled out that sword and he was ready to, he cut the, the soldier's ear off. And how the Lord told him to put the sword away. And how you thought Peter at that time was willing to go all the way. Now, I don't know, maybe he thought he was at the time. But the Lord himself told him he was going to deny him thrice, three times later on. Yeah. He did, and he did. Three times later on. Yeah. And that's the way people in this world and Christians as a whole, sometimes we say, Lord, I'm willing to go with you all the way. But when we're, those winds start surfacing, when that ships begin to the, the wave, how are you staying? Is he still going to be your shepherd? Amen. When you see him, when you trust in him with everything that you have with us within you, the Bible tells us without faith, it is impossible to please him. Amen. It is. It's impossible to do anything right now in this life, in this world, if you do not believe in the true living God. If you don't believe that he is your shepherd and know that he is a way maker, we won't be able to stand in this time and in this hour. Amen. We're coming into some dark hours, saints. I'm telling you the truth. Amen. We can see it. We're watching the White House. We're coming into some dark hours, yeah. whether we believe it or not. Yeah. You can see how the, these diseases are sweeping through the land. China is at a whole new ep epidemic high. If we don't need Jesus, I don't know what we need right now, but I know I need Jesus Amen. in my life. Amen. 
The Lamb of God who died on the cross for the remission of my sins and your sins as well. We need him. I'm talking about that Jesus who beat it, Peter to walk out on that water. That's the Jesus I'm talking about. That bread, that true bread of life. The Jesus that was always there at the beginning from Genesis all the way through Revelation. That real living Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ who spoke the word. His father spoke that word and he went into that virgin's womb. And that word became flesh. That Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lamb of God. Behold. It's taken away. The yeah. sins of the world. We need Jesus in his hour. You got to be able to stand. If we don't have it, we won't be able to stand. Saints, We're not going to make it. A lot of people are not going to make it. Amen. Let's just be honest with it. A lot of them are not going to make it. Why should we get close to the end and miss out on our glorious crown? I say, Lord, whatever is hindering me, whatever is hindering your people, God, give us the strength. Give us the encouragement to show us and give us an opportunity to remove that affliction from our life so that we can go on to be with you. And Lord, if I do not give it up, I need him to remove it. I want him to remove it. That's just my determination how I want to be saved. I do. I want to be saved, saints. I want to be saved. I want to go on and be with the God. The God that my mother spoke about years ago. The word that, that we see in the manifestation in the true living God. We got to be born again whether we believe it or not. Amen. I don't believe once saved always said we got to be really born all Amen. over again. Amen. That in the spirit got to be born all over again. Yeah. We find ourselves and you find yourself still doing the same things that you used to do. You ain't been reborn again. Amen. He is not your shepherd. Amen. He's not your shepherd. If you find yourself still sneaking around from house to house, dipping and diving, you ain't been reborn. And let's just be honest with this. Amen. We got to get sincere with God. Amen. We got to be sincere. Wholehearted. You know, this house, this lighthouse that's here is a representation of the true nature that God intended for it to be. Every lighthouse that's planted here, and a lot of, whether we believe it or not, a lot of pastors are going to be held accountable. Because you can see it on the TV screens that you watch. A lot of people. Because they're getting caught up in prosperity and, you know, this fame and glare. You can live yeah. any kind of way you want to. Man. As long as you keep bringing all the time and money in. But I want Jesus more than anything. I do. I want him more than anything. Yeah. And you should want him too. Amen. Jesus is the only way. Amen. He's the truth. Right. He's the light. Amen. He's the way maker. Man. God, what kind of God could we have if we didn't really know the true living God? He is a healer. God will heal us of any sickness, yeah. any disease. He can do what money can't do. Amen. He can. He'll do what money can't buy. Amen. You know, we was on our way. I was getting ready, putting on my clothes and started getting texts and found out one of the basketball players got killed. Kobe Bryant and his daughter was killed here this morning. Such a sad tragedy. It was sad. 13-year-old. They was on their way to a basketball game. And my mind and my heart, I immediately went back. Lord, was he ready? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's the old concept. When it's your coffin is stretched out here. Amen. And the preacher is preaching your eulogy. What is your life going to have stated for? Yeah. Sincerely. We all going to, someday, we're going to breathe our last breath. That's true. We all. Yeah. Amen. Where we're going to spend eternity. Amen. That should be your everyday question in your walk. Lord, where will I spend eternity? Amen. That's true. I'm making my call on Alexis you every day, Pastor. I'm, I'm serious. I'm trying my best yeah. every single day. I'm pressing towards that mark, Come that on. prize of the high call. Amen. I'm pressing. I'm trying. I believe a lot of you are trying. I believe a lot of saints. I do. I believe we got some sincere saints. I do. I believe some saints have resolved in themselves. No matter what I go through, I'm going to go through all the way to the end. Amen. Lord, if, if it costs me my son, Lord, there's some saints that will say, Lord, I'm still going to stay. I've seen it done. So if it costs you your mother, your father, your sister, your aunt, you still need to go on with the Lord. Amen. you got to be willing. you got to be determined to hold on, to believe God, stay steadfast. God is true to his word. Amen. He has not forsaken his people. But you got to know, is he your shepherd? Yes. Is he your real shepherd? See, when you have a real shepherd, I'm being honest, if you're a sheep, you will know his voice. Amen. That's, That's not like Bible. That's what yeah. Bible says. No. He will know his voice. He won't stray away to some form or some stray, some weird voice. He's always going to come back to that voice that's so familiar. Jesus Christ is our shepherd. 
Amen. And you know, pastors, like I was saying earlier, pastors are going to be held accountable for the deceptions and the lies that they misled so many people. But I've always purposed, I'm telling you the truth, I've been preaching this for the last couple of years. You got to find God for yourself. Amen. You do. You got to find God sincerely for yourself. See, the pastor here, I, I can come in here, I can believe what he's preaching, and I and you can respect what he's preaching. It may sound like truth, but you got to know God sincerely for yourself. What happens when I can't get to the pastor for him to come up here and lay hands on me? What happens when I can't call him in the line of his business? I got to be able to turn to God for myself. Amen. The same God, the same Holy Ghost, same Spirit, what is it? We got to know him sincerely for ourselves. It's Jesus Christ. Amen. Is he your shepherd? Getting away from all the things, all these distractions, the sins that so easily beset us. We've all been there, whether we believe it or not. And the sins that so easily beset you can be some of the smallest things. Getting caught up in too much work time when I should be at the house of God. Oh, I got to put overtime in when I know I should be here at the house of God. Oh, knowing you should be praying at prayer time, but I got to be watching TV, or you got to be on the phones, on the tablets, or whatever it may be. We got to know that the Lord is our shepherd. Amen. He is. He's my shepherd. I shall not want He, You won't want if he is your shepherd. The Bible said he, he will supply what? All our needs Amen. according to his riches and his glory. Yeah. You know, it's so weird because my pastor, our former pastor, he always taught me which gave me great respect for him. It really did for me from when I was a youth up. But when I got saved as a baby in the law, he told me, he sent me in the office one day. And he said, Brother there, he said, and you know, I always, you know, you can believe what's coming about and what's been said and preached so. But he said, Don't ever just take my word for it. He said, Get that Bible and you find out where it is written. Amen. Yeah. You search those scriptures out and you find out what word is written. And once you find out, you stand on the word of God. You stand on it and believe it. You know, Brother Don corrected somebody. I won't call his name, but he corrected somebody uh, the other day because they quoted something that they had heard pastors, uh, some pastors or whoever said. And I, you know, when they asked me about it, I was kind of in between and I, I knew what they meant about the scripture. But Brother Don was saying it wasn't in the Bible. It wasn't written like that in the Bible, which he was so true. It wasn't. And that, you know, my mind thought about it. And I said, Lord, you know, you can see how so many people, uh, pastors are just deceiving people. They're taking them away from the real sound doctrine of you. We're, we're, you know, and, and everybody kind of throw parables in there. We're all going to throw parables here and there. But you want to always find yourself leaning on this word right here. Yeah. Amen. The true living word of God. Yes. He is the only way. He's the way maker. He's the truth. And he's the life. Amen. Go over here with me. Psalm. Still in Psalm. Hallelujah. 34 and 15. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and the ears open unto their cry. That's, I'm going to stop there for a minute. Are you a righteous person? Come on. Are you a righteous person? Really ask yourself, are we righteous in the eyesight of God? The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth and deliver them out of how many of the troubles? All their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. And save it such as be of a contrite spirit. The Bible says right here, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will what? Deliver them out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. The Lord is faithful to his word. He is he's faithful to his word. But he is going to go and protect his sheep that's around. Right now, we don't have time to be getting out of the, the pasture. Per se. Going to look on the other side of the fence. There's an old saying. Sometimes it's not as green on the other side when you get there. And some people believe it's green on the other side. But I'm listening for that one voice in my life. The yeah. one instruction. Amen. Praise God. I'm listening for that power. Yeah. That one voice of that shepherd who guides me. Amen. Who takes me. 
who takes my wife, who takes my kids, who takes the souls and friends and family. Yeah. I'm listening for Jesus Christ Amen. in my life. You know, I you have to know God sincerely on a daily basis. The Bible tells us we are to deny ourselves and to take up the cross daily. Yeah. Every single day is a true walk with him. Yeah. Every single day we should have some communion with him. We should be talking to the Father. Have some prayer time set aside. Have some time when we open this Bible and read a verse or two. Whether it's a verse or two, chapter or two, whatever it may be. Some time alone with the shepherd. If God is true, he still lives. He's on the throne. You say, how do you know? Because I talked to him today. And he talked to me. Praise God. He is still the redeemer. When I yeah. talked to the redeemer, you should know him too. Praise he God. is the true living God. Yeah, amen. You know, Jesus Christ is all we have. Whether we believe it or not, he is. It's all we have. I don't want anything else. You know, I told the Lord, I've been praying more earnestly. I bet I have. Things that the flesh desire, things that your nature normally wants. God, I, I do. I want that wheel to die. Mm -hmm. I do. My mind immediately goes back to the song she was saying, I want God's will yeah. to be done in my life. Yes. I do. That's the most important. How fulfilling could that be to have to know that you're walking in the will of God? Yes, man. You know, Samson was one that was. Dipping and dapping in and out of sin. Come on. Running all across the place. Yeah, he was. Dipping and dapping. Getting hooked up with Delilah. And he lay in into midnight and all this. And we notice the, the Bible, the theology of it. But how it ended, he knew that he had to get back to the true one living shepherd. Amen. He had to get back to that cross. Praise Jesus God. Jesus Christ. And the Bible said he shook himself. He had to shake himself out of that daze and that sleep. Satan is trying to rock us to sleep. That's what he's doing. That's he's true. singing us that lullaby. He wants you to get comfortable. Amen. He wants you to get content so he can Amen. ease in that home. He can ease in that marriage. He can ease in your body. He can ease in your job. Amen. That's his whole design. He's trying to get us content in a state that we're in. He's trying to blind our eyes and say, There's, oh, I go to church. I'm still praying. Hey, God is not moving, but God is still moving. Amen. He's still on the throne. Amen. And the Bible talks, he said, how Samson shook himself. And how? He asked the Lord, just strip him one more time. He just had to be stripped just one more time. And how the Bible says how he slew more yes. in his death than when he was out there doing everything he was doing. He slew more at that time than any time he had been out there. Why? Because he turned back to the true Lamb of God. Amen. He did. God is true to his word. He is that living word. Amen. You got to know that he is your shepherd. There's a woman that was with an issue. Over there in the Gospels in Matthew. And how she suffered for them 12 years. We all know it. Could you imagine yourself suffering for 12 years like that with that issue? But she heard that a man was passing by. Amen. She heard that a man was passing by. Come on. And she knew she in that weakened state of condition. Amen. If I could just get to him yes. and touch, just reach out and just yes. touch. You got all these people crowding him. But if I could just Reach out, just, just barely touch the hem of his going. Then I'll be made whole. Amen. And the Bible speaks how he felt virtue come out of him. Yeah. All these people, but virtue left him. Why? Because her faith was so much in him. Amen. And she was instantly made whole. Will you say, I've done that before, but have you really stretched forth your hands in faith to believe God? Have you really put our hearts out there to really believe? Because when you know it's done, it's done. It ain't nothing that's going to sidetrack you or, or take you here or there. When it's done, it is done. Where the symptoms are still there, you just believe, God, I, you have healed me. Because your word said yeah. you and you have healed me. That's the real faith. Amen. That's when you know that he is your true shepherd. Amen. Why? Because he's a God that cannot lie. Amen. That's what numbers told us. He can't lie. Amen. If he spoke that word, he can't take it back. Amen. So I'm pressing him more and more every day. Lord, I'm waiting for you to speak. Because God, once you speak, I know it's done. You Amen. cannot take it back. That's the shepherd I go to. Amen. The true living God that I seek with all my heart. The same God that casts those devils out of that, that uh, servant, the, the looter, one with the lunatic. How he told him, if fowls can believe, he tried to put it on the Lord. But the Lord told him, no, if he could believe, all things were possible to them that believe. Yes, the yes. true living shepherd, yes. the lamb of God, that innocent blood that was slain on that cross. 
You know we all going to have to make a decision right now in this lifetime that we spend. You know, the Bible tells us our, our lifespan, was, we was promised 70 years, 70 years. That was the, or, you know, our lifespan ordained that from the beginning of time, we wouldn't even supposed to have death originally. Because he said he wished no man should perish. And somebody tried to tell me that a couple of days ago. And I told him, I said, no, the Lord didn't wish us to perish because of sin. Came into the earth. That's what caused us to perish. And that's the only thing that caused you to perish and I to perish is sin. Because there is an eternal life whether you believe it or not. Amen. There is. There's an eternal life. And how we all will have a decision to make sincerely within ourselves. We may think that we're doing nobody sees me or nobody hears me. Come on. Nobody can put, put their finger on it. But you got to know that there is a shepherd. The true living God. And just listen. Yes. He watches to and fro. He watching all over the earth. You got to resolve in yourself. God, I'm going to go all the way with you. Amen. No matter what shakes me, no matter what comes my way, I'm going all the way with you. Amen. You know, Jacob himself stole his brother's birthright, Esau. And how he tricked his, he when he stole the birthright, you know, I really don't say he, he stole it because it was a choice he saw made. Yes, he so did. that was his choice yeah. to yeah. give it up. It, well, he didn't really steal it. It was a choice he made. But Jacob was deceiving when he put the skins on his arms. Yeah. His mother put, had put the skins on his arms and how he knew the father's eyes was them and how he reached out and his father said he sounded like Jacob. But he touched him and he smelt him and he smelt like he saw. So he gave him the blessing instead. And how he pretty much stole that blessing from that point on. But how he went out and he saw, he knew that his brother was coming for him, so he fled and went on into a, another area. But how he knew that his brother was coming. Now, Jacob himself could have tried to gather his own army. He could have tried. He could have tried to fight against his brother. But he knew immediately that I better turn to the only one yes. that, I, that can get me out of this, oh, this trouble. He, he knew I better turn to the greatest power there was in earth. Yes. He knew that I better turn back to the shepherd, to the true living God that can get me out of this. And I cried out. And the Bible said how he wrestled with this man. He wrestled with, with great intensity. He was so, you know, that's the fight that we have to have within us. Lord, I will not let you go until you bless my soul. Amen. That's the fight, the determination you got to have. He could have his life taken out. He, he had a bone removed from his, what was his, his thigh. And how he, you know, I'm sure he was losing a fight. But that determination, that fight in him, he knew he had to get a hold to something that could overtake him. And that's the same determination that I feel deep in my soul that you should feel in your soul. Amen. That same determination when you first came to God. If you've ever been born again, you oh Lord, sometimes again, we but something in me will just not let me quit. I got to hold on. Sometimes I get weary. I get weak. My, I cry. My eyes get heavy. My heart get broken. But something in me will not let the Lord go. Amen. Why? Because I got a taste of something. I've tasted something of goodness. And I'm holding on to it. He is he your shepherd? The Lord is true to his word, saints. Amen. He is. Amen. He is a healer. He is. He's a healer. No matter what the doctors tell you. Lord still has it in control. Amen. He does. The Lord has it all in control. Amen. You got to believe it for real within your heart. Yeah. If the shepherd said you can live, you can live and you are going to live. Yeah, man. God is the only thing that gives breath and life. He takes breath and life. Yeah. He is the true man. Yes. He is who he says he is. John 3, 16 tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. He gave him. That was the choice he made. That's the choice that you and I are going to have to make sooner or later. Yeah. I mean, whether we believe it or not, he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. That whosoever should believe it in him should not perish, but have what? Everlasting, Everlasting life. life. We can have eternal life here. Amen. You can know tonight. Amen. You can know tonight. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, one of the, you know, I still look for Sincere revival. I do. I believe we're going to have a real revival in this nation. We got to. Real revival is coming. And, but it's only going to manifest one thing. 
Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It is. It ain't going to be no Pentecostal religion. It ain't going to be no Baptist religion. It won't be no Methodist religion. It won't be no holiness religion. It's going to be one thing. Yes. Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us that every knee is going to bow. Every tongue, it will confess. I can promise you that every knee is going to bow. Yes. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Come on. I can promise you that. We've heard it and we've it's been preached to us for years. But the word of God, everything he has spoken, it shall come to pass. Jesus, the Bible said heaven and earth should pass away, but his word will not. But that word has been spoken. It's always going to be remaining here. When it's all this world is gone, when you and I are already gone, that word is still going to remain. Amen. It'll still be here to eternity. Why? Because God is true to his word. Amen. If we don't know our shepherd here tonight, I encourage you sincerely, saints. Get back close to God. Amen. Amen. Get back a hold to your true living God. Don't give up now. Now is not the time to give up to throw your hands up. Now is not the time to draw back and go back on God. On. We got to fight more than ever. Yes. To persevere, to get closer to God like never before. Yes. And whether you believe it or not, I'm telling you the truth here, the saints. I don't know why I'm saying this. But you may have to be willing to walk away from family and friends just to get closer to God. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. God will take care of them. But you got to know that you got to go on with God. You know, some people, we can't save everybody. We can't. Let's just be honest. We can't save everybody. We try to save. I, I used to go home when I used to work at the juvenile facility crying in bathtubs and taking showers trying to trying to save every, all them boys and young you know girls out there trying to bring them to Jesus Christ. But I can't, I realize I'm not going to be able to save them all. I'm not going to be able to change them all. I'm trying to do it under my own will. But the only thing I can do is bring them to Jesus Christ. That's Amen. it. He's the Savior. I'm not the Savior. He's the Savior. Amen. He's the truth. He's the lie. Saints, if I haven't said anything or tonight, get a hold to the true living God. Yes. Get back on that foundation. Yes. Let's get back on this word. Let's get back on our platform. Let's get back in the fight. Yes. Let's get back in the race and run this race. There's a kingdom ready to be taken out there. But God is going to need soldiers to go be ready to go out there. He's going to, we got to be prepared to go out there and be ready to go to war. And you say, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. Well, we got to be ready to meet him at Walmart. We got to be ready to meet him at town and country. We got to be ready to meet him on the jobs. Why? Because the name of Jesus Christ will be lifted up. He will be lifted. He's true. He's our Savior. Know God sincerely for yourself. Amen. Know that your shepherd, he is the Lamb of God. Yes. He's everything that you need. Even when he didn't want, he didn't want to go to that cross. He didn't. But he told his father, Lord, not my will, but thine will be done. Amen. He wanted that cup to pass, but he went on to that cross. Yes. And thank God he did, because you and I have eternal life waiting now. Yes. If we choose it, we can choose it today. You got to know that you've chosen eternity. Yes. You know, let's, we, we need a baptism once again all over, all over in the Holy Ghost. We really do. That's uh, true. The rest, I'm serious. Churches, God's people everywhere. Sincerely, we need a baptism once again. A fulfilling in the Holy Ghost. Yes. All over again. I told the Lord, I said, God, you know, sometimes I don't have to even got to go preach to the word. Lord, just let the Holy Ghost just fall and sling us all across the place yes. until I be filled with power. Up on high. Yeah. I want to walk into a service and the songs that is coming up and tears running our eyes and we just coming in and the glory yeah. of God yeah. just swoop us. Right. You know, I, I come into churches. I everywhere I go, I don't never judge. I just I'm always in expectation. Lord, yeah. what's gonna happen here today? Will you meet us here today? Am I ready to be presented by you? Am I prepared to be with the king? Amen. That's what I always come in. I, I lie not. I come to every service in expectation, sir. That's our hearts. That's the way we should always come. And we can't all the time, I've learned this, we can't all the time put it on our, the, the leaders and the pastors. What are we bringing to the service? Smart. How is my spirit? Did I pray before I come to church? Yeah. That's the attitude we need to come with, that real faith. Yes. The shepherd, yeah. knowing him once again. Amen. Get a hold to God like we have never gotten a hold of God before, saints. Seriously. Right. 
Find out what is hindering you. Ask the Lord to show us, God, what is hindering us yes. from getting this real mighty breakthrough. Praise God. The real yes. mighty breakthrough that you're looking for. Yes. And once he has revealed it up to thee, start stepping forth to go in the path yes. that he's guided you to go into. Mm -hmm. He is our shepherd, whether we believe it or not. Will you accept him here tonight? There's hell that is not preached much at all. In many places, you don't hear hell, fire, and brimstone preached anymore. But I can assure you, saints, there is a hell. Yes, there is. That burns deep yes. with fire and brimstone, gnashing of teeth, Revelation speak of. Yes. As a true hell that has enlarged itself. The Bible never said heaven enlarged itself. It said hell had enlarged itself. Which tells me many people are making the wrong choices in life to be having eternal life Praise with God. him. Yes. I choose this day. I confess this day. Amen. All over again, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As my personal Savior. Amen. You can confess him right now. All over again as your personal Savior. Yes. With the confession of the mouth and believe it sincerely in the heart. Amen. And your walk with Christ can renew itself Amen. right now here today. Just know him. Get to know the real true shepherd of God. I'm going to read this and I'm going to get on out your way. Hallelujah. Psalm, still in the book of Psalm, 37 and 3. Trust in the Lord and do good. He shall, he shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and the, thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Trust in him. Know the Lord. Taste of him, and see of his goodness. He is the true living Shepherd, he's our true living God. There is no other God besides him. Amen. It is not. Amen. Buddha won't do it. No. Mohammed won't do it. Come on. Whoever they profess out there ain't, won't do it. They've been trying to erase this Bible for many years. Yeah, they have. But this book that we know as the Bible has withstood. Come on. Eternity. Amen. And his word Come will on. still always remain. Yeah. That's the true living God that we serve. Yes. Believe upon him. Amen. Bow your heads with me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we believe this word here tonight. God, we trust in you. God, we return our hearts back to you. God, with everything. Our mind, our spirit, our body, and our soul. Lord, help us to go all the way with you, God. Help us to get myself out of the way. Help us to all release ourselves, God, to get behind. To trust in this word. To go after your will, God, in our lives. Lord, no matter where we go in this walk of life, God, we got to believe that you are our leader. You are our guide. You are our refuge. Lord, you are our way maker. Trusting in you, God. Fill us once again with the fullness and the real gift of the Holy Ghost, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. amen. Give the Lord a hand clap if you want. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. If anybody have need of prayer, we will pray with you. Hallelujah. If you have need of prayer, we will pray with you. Like I said, I'm never in a rush to leave. I want to ask the sister there. I feel led to pray for you, mother. I don't. Yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. I don't. I just try to listen for the voice of the